Listen to the stirring rhythm. Percussion instruments are used to emphasize rhythm in marching bands and in concert bands and orchestras. Percussion instruments are also used to provide special sound effects. These are percussion instruments, important in both orchestras and bands. The drums are the loudest of the percussion instruments. They are the foundation of the rhythm in bands. This is the bass drum. Even though it's big, it isn't heavy. The drum is just a hoop of wood with a skin stretched across it on both sides. With different kinds of beaters, you can produce different sounds. This beater has a soft head. This one has a hard head. With a double-headed beater, you can do a roll on the bass drum. This is the snare drum. It's called that because on the bottom of the drum are snares, usually made of wire, which give the snare drum its special tone quality. Watch the snares vibrate. To be a good drummer, you should master the snare drum first. With just two sticks, a drummer can make many sounds and rhythms on his drum. This larger snare drum is called a field drum. It is louder and deeper than the smaller snare drum. These drums are called tympani, or sometimes kettle drums, because they are like large kettles with skins stretched across the tops. Tympani can be built in any desired size. As with all instruments, the larger ones sound lower. Down at the bottom is a pedal. Working the pedal loosens or tightens the skin across the top of the kettle. Loosening and tightening the skin changes the pitch of the drum. This is true of all drums. These are cymbals. This is called a sock cymbal. A single cymbal can be suspended on a stand. Cymbals come in different sizes, and the different sizes sound different. You can hit a cymbal with a drumstick. Using timpani sticks, you can do a roll. or you can hit a cymbal with brushes. The drums and cymbals are very important to a dance band. There are other percussion instruments that produce special sound effects. This is a tambourine. It has a skin tightly stretched across a hoop with metal jingles all around the edge. These are temple blocks.
This is the triangle, a metal rod bent into the shape of a triangle and hit with a metal beater. These are castanets. Castanets can be used for a variety of rhythms. These are claves. And this is the gong, used for mysterious sounds and oriental effects. This is a marimba, used in both bands and orchestras. On the marimba, you can hit short notes, of course. But by bringing the sticks up and down rapidly, you can produce an almost smooth, sustained sound. Different kinds of sticks will produce different effects. These are hard sticks. These are soft ones. When you use two sticks in each hand, you can play chords. These are called bells. Bells are made of a number of metal bars which are struck with hard little mallets. The shorter bells play the high tones and as the bars get longer, the tones get lower. These brass tubes, suspended from a frame, are chimes. Notice that they're struck at the top with a special hammer. Remember some of the other percussion instruments you've seen? The bass drum, the snare drum, the timpani or kettle drums. The cymbals. The tambourine. The tempo blocks. The triangle. and claves. Percussion instruments are used to emphasize the rhythm and to provide special effects in the band. Percussion instruments are important to the band and to the orchestra.